Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by the rifle category in Warzone right now. The assault rifles is very competitive for sure. In general, the rifles all could probably use a buff to really compete with the absolute best, the best over long range. But this category is super versatile. There's kind of something for everyone out of it. And today we are breaking down the five best assault rifle loadouts you want to be using. As we get into it, if you enjoyed the video, if you find it helpful, do me a favor, drop a like on it, it would be really appreciated. And if you're new here, you want to guarantee we're always up to date with the latest meta breakdowns, news, updates, patch notes, everything going on in COD, really. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. But we are starting first at number five with Old Reliable, the M4. This thing's actually really competitive at all ranges now. Close range, uh, you know, in its first damage range, one of the most competitive TTKs out of the entire uh, weapon category. In the mid range, it really thrives as well. So like for resurgence, it's gonna be great. Then even over long range, it's got one of the better TTK options in the class right now too. So this thing is super versatile. And of course it's the M4, like I said, it's old reliable, right? This setup is really optimized for the mid to long range. We got the AMOB V4. If there's a different optic you like more, recharge, whatever the case may be, feel free to run that. I go for the 60 round mag because the fire rate here is a little bit faster. 45, you'll find yourself reloading a little too frequently for my liking. High velocity ammo, just gonna keep it nice and consistent in the mid to long range. Ripper under barrel for that better stabilization and stability, making the recoil pattern a lot more predictable. Then I go for the Harbinger D20 suppressor. This is a heavier one, so it's gonna offer better velocity, better range, and then also some added control as well. Again, just making the weapon even easier to use, and it's already relatively low recoil and pretty straightforward. So this setup is gonna be very basic. Anyone can pick this thing up, and they're probably gonna do well with it. Now, like I said, the rifle category is super versatile. For instance, we got the M4 for like mid to long range. Right next to that at number four, I've got the Chimera for sniper sniper support. This thing's first damage range and its mid range is utterly phenomenal. It's going to absolutely melt there. It's TTK is uh, one of the best in class for sniper support and in the early mid range and uh, that general area. This thing is super, super competitive. Also relatively straightforward and easy to use, especially with this setup here, which is sort of optimized for that mid range. I do still like the AMOB V4 optic for this because it's not too zoomed in. You can fight with this at 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, and it'll be easy to stay on target. I do want some aggression here, so I go for the seven milliwatt laser just for that snappier ADS and sprint to fire, and same deal with the Bruin Flash rear grip as well. 45 round mag is gonna be the max here, but this fire rate is not like crazy, super fast or anything, so that's gonna be totally sufficient. And then lastly, I go for the Phoenix Barrel. This again, just helps out in that mid range mainly with the better range, velocity, and control. The Velo here is not phenomenal, so adding that on there is gonna be a nice little benefit and kind of why I stray away from something like uh, Vorpal, which yes, is gonna make it more aggressive, but the Velo is already so rough that that might hurt it even more for some sniper support this setup is going to be really consistent the hit reg is going to feel reliable and like i said it's extremely versatile and a ton of fun to use and then kind of in that same general area there for the sniper support style niche the Razorback is also phenomenal, but except for with this build, the only difference is it's even easier to use over long range. So this is like a setup that quite frankly, you could fight with at 10 meters. You're gonna wanna have your sights pre-aimed a little bit, obviously, because it's a rifle. Regardless, SMGs are still gonna be snappier, but you could fight at 10 meters. You could fight at 30 to 40 meters for sniper support with this thing. You could even fight at 50, 60, 70 meters with this thing because it's so low recoil. It's gonna be very easy to stay on target over range. So again, I got the AMOB V4 and the weapon is now backwards for some reason. This gun is Smith just works flawlessly, I can tell you. We also got the 60 round extended mag here. You definitely wanna run this because this fire rate's a little bit more crazy. So you are gonna be running out of ammo really fast. It's damage per mag is not phenomenal, but you kinda of have to live with it for that TTK. High velocity ammo makes the mid range and the long range feel more consistent. The proto grip is specific to the Razorback and it's so good. Better stability and stabilization like Ripper would offer, but this also gives you direct horizontal control, which makes this pattern a lot more vertical and thus super predictable, which is really nice to see. And you then stack Komodo Heavy on top of that, also just focusing on horizontal control. And this pattern, I believe True Game Data said is actually statistically the most predictable and easy recoil pattern out of all the rifles in the game. So this is a late laser beam if there ever was one little lower on the damage per mag side which is the one main drawback here but if you can hit your shots you can and will fry also quick shout out to my friends over at gamer advantage you guys may or may not know but i do have my very own custom bundle with them it comes with a pair of custom inferno frames etched with a tiger claw obviously for the channel logo and then it also has custom who's immortal branded accessories as well a carrying uh cloth also a cleaning cloth and a sticker too not to mention if you throw in code immortal at checkout for anything on the site my bundle or a different pair of frames it'll get you a nice little discount if you want to get a pair for yourself 
link will be down at the very top of the description now at number two i've got the m13b this actually caught a slight buff with season five reloaded it was already one of the top rifles in class it's ttk might not feel like it but technically it is like the second or third fastest in game uh once you are actually hitting your shots again the damage per mag here is a bit lacking because the fire rate's a little faster but it's very low recoil so much so that i often opt to not even use an under barrel very straightforward as well so for resurgence for even some almas or long range this thing is going to feel very nice and very straightforward again surprise surprise we've got the aimob v4 optic 60 round mag again a necessity here because that fire rate being a little bit faster high velocity ammo for the better velocity feel over mid to long range just again helping out that hit reg feel basically and that said i do actually opt for the echelon barrel over an under barrel but if you want to flip between the two and see which you prefer more uh feel free to do so you know obviously with echelon you're extending that damage range a bit getting even better velocity and a tad bit of control just to help out that general pattern whereas you know if you swap that for a ripper under barrel you're gonna get better stay stabilization and stability so the pattern is more predictable uh but it's really just coming down to how you want the weapon to feel and how comfortable you are with you know the feel of the recoil over range so definitely experiment around and see what works for you either way there's no wrong answer it's all going to be good right then i also go for the d20 harbinger suppressor again for that better velocity control and uh range so you're getting that three in one combo here too a setup that i'm sure you guys are plenty familiar with if you watch the loadout videos actively because this is one that's been very steady and very constant for several seasons and then lastly at number one I gotta go with the cast off 762 best in class TTK it's got a lower damage per mag because it only has the 40 round mag here but it's fire rates not crazy that you're gonna run out of ammo ridiculously fast and it's honestly pretty straightforward and pretty easy to use as well so again for the final time today we've got the aimob v4 optic 40 round mag as I mentioned there now I like the feel of high velocity ammo on here because for long range where you're gonna be using this pretty much exclusively it's gonna give you that better feel that better hit reg that said the cast one barrel the cast 10 barrel rather sorry is a really good option too for the better range and velocity and control so just like over on the m13 if you want to mix and match between the cast 10 barrel the ripper under barrel and high velocity and see which two pair there works better for you maybe it's high velo in a barrel maybe it's a barrel and an under barrel definitely mess around with that and see what you are the most comfortable with because at the end of the day comfortability over everything is going to be the true meta right then lastly i go for the talent suppressor here i like the added velocity the uh, added range and then also the better control that you get out of this again it's a heavier suppressor so you're getting some of that there too fun setup definitely will take a little bit of getting used to it's not as low recoil as some of these other options on the list but it's just as dominant in the right hands because the power here is a bit more extreme and that being said those are the top five best rifles to be using here in warzone right now that's gonna wrap things up if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it and if you're new here you want to guarantee you're always up to date with everything going on in cod between warzone mw2 and soon to be mw3 as well be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out